Hey guys, what's going on? The Comics Kid 2099 here. Welcome to day 12 of the 365 day graphic novel review challenge. Yesterday I talked to you about a Star Wars book. Today I want to talk to you about another Star Wars book. Star Wars Infinities, A New Hope. Uh, this is an alternate reality story where uh, something different happens in Star Wars A New Hope, giving us a different timeline where things happen very differently. Uh, and it's kind of like Marvel's What If series, uh, and it's kind of a four-issue extended look of what happens if Luke Skywalker fails to destroy the Death Star at the end of A New Hope. Uh, and it's going to be very hard for me to talk about this without spoiling some stuff, because uh, it's going to be very hard for me to talk about what makes this an alternate reality without talking about plot points. Uh, so Luke accidentally, uh, through no fault of his own, uh, the Death Star does not blow up. He shoots the missiles, they make it into the little hole thing, but one of them prematurely explodes, and so the Death Star does not blow up. Uh, but this does uh, delay the destruction of the Rebel base long enough for uh, a few people to get off the planet, and then finally the Death Star is able to blow up the Rebel base. Uh, the Empire captures Princess Leia, Luke and Han, they are able to escape, and then Luke, he feels uh, very bitter, very guilty that he was not able to destroy the Death Star. And so then Obi-Wan's ghost is like, okay, you're feeling uh, really angry, uh, you're on your way to the dark side, you need to go to Dagobah, you need to train under Master Yoda uh, and Pronto, like right now. And what I like about this is, in the Star Wars movies, Yoda was very hesitant to train uh, Luke. Here, he sees that if Luke does not get trained, he will absolutely go to the dark side. So Yoda pretty much immediately says, yep, I'm going to train this guy, he needs training. And uh, then we get uh, a flash forward a little bit, about five years, uh, Luke has been training this whole time, Leia has been training under Darth Vader and the Emperor, and then uh, things come to a head, Luke has to go and try to redeem his sister, and then... Uh, Spoiler alert, the galaxy is saved, kind of like you would expect. Uh, there are quite a few things that I really like about this. First and foremost, I really like that this shows us things that are different than the movies. It takes characters that we are very familiar with, Han Solo, Leia, Luke, and it puts them in very different situations that we didn't get to really see them in in the movies that we got. Uh, for example, we get to see Luke as more of a mature Jedi Master than we ever got to see him in the movies. Uh, we got to see him in that role uh, towards the end of Return of the Jedi, uh, but I really like getting to see him work towards that, and it feels a little bit more organic than the movies, dare I say, because here we are told that he has been training nonstop for five years, whereas in the movies, we're told that he's been doing a little bit of training, but we don't get to see it as much, and it, we don't feel it as much as we do here in this book. Uh, I also like getting to see Leia on the dark side, because in the movies, it was just kind of thrown out there at the last minute that she and Luke were siblings, and that would mean, okay, in theory, if he has force powers, then she should also, but we never get to see her explore those force powers in the movies. Here, we get to see her uh, use these abilities, and she feels like more of an important part of the story as a result. Uh, and I really like getting to see them be more uh, integral in uh, the uh, redemption story instead of it being more of a Luke Darth Vader thing. Uh, I really like that. I thought that was really cool. Uh, the one thing I did not like, it's a minor nitpick, but at one point we get to see Luke having a force vision, and he gets to see stuff that we get to see from the prequels. Uh, he sees Shmi Skywalker, uh, Padme, uh, young Anakin, he sees young Obi-Wan on Kenobi, he sees Qui-Gon Jinn, uh, he sees Darth Maul, he sees all this stuff from the prequel movies. And not because the prequels are bad, although the prequels are bad, but I wish they didn't include anything from the prequels. I wish that they had tried their best to keep this limited to information that we had in A New Hope. Uh, since this is pretending to be an alternate version of A New Hope, although really, since it happened so late in the version of A New Hope that we got, it's really more of an alternate sequel to A New Hope. Uh, but since this is pretending to be an alternate version of the original trilogy, I wish that this had stuck with information and characters that we had in the original trilogy. Uh, a good bit of this book is also set on Coruscant. We never even heard of Coruscant until I think 1997 when they did the re-releases of the original trilogy. I wish that they had stuck to characters, places, and things that we saw in the original trilogy. Uh, don't show us a page of Darth Maul and Shmi Skywalker who we won't even see until 1999. Uh, that's a minor nitpick uh, because if that's my only problem with this book, then I can't say that there's really a whole lot that's wrong with this book. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, if you are into Star Wars, but you are also into alternate reality stories, then this thing is right up your alley. Uh, I do wish that Dark Horse had done more alternate reality type Star Wars stories. Uh, I would have liked to have seen uh, 
uh, Infinity stories for the prequel trilogy. Uh, I know that a lot of people don't like the prequels, myself included, but I think it would have been really cool to see alternate reality versions of those stories. I think that uh, some people could have really made those into very interesting alternate takes. Uh, but that's all that I have to say about Star Wars Infinities A New Hope. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and be sure to check me out tomorrow where I'm going to be talking about another Star Wars book. Uh, in the meantime, you guys have a great rest of the day. May the Force be with you.